we can move on next to the start date and end date as well as status. So in this particular case, right, we're doing 2024 Q4 and let's assume that all the key results are the same, right? So this has got to be um, September the 1st through to December 31st. So that's your uh, fourth quarter, right? So I'm just going to copy that and paste that into all of the key results, right? Because I'm assuming that everything in the quarter is going to be the same. Right. Um, and it's not going to change. But what is more important here is now that you've got an actual time period, you know, written down the table, you should then revisit this column over here, the start and end values, and, and think again for each of these. Is it really possible to increase the active developer count by 50%? right in a period of three months so now you're thinking about the time period as well so let's say no nah, it's maybe a bit too ambitious let me go down to 40 percent increase instead and for developer transactions maybe i think okay 50 like if i have 40 percent more developers i won't have 50 percent more transactions maybe i can get in for 60 percent more transactions and the reason for that is because i'm thinking of all the new um, the new educational material that I will be, that I'll be creating over here, right? Um, that typo. Um, and, and so I think, okay, so 40% increase in developers, but because we have all of these other things going on in the rest of the key results, and if we hit those, then that will have a multiplier effect. And I think from those extra developers, I can actually get them to have 60% extra instead so you can revisit numbers from the previous columns um, when you think about them in the context of dates now the other thing that could happen is that you might decide that some of these things are not um, valid as quarterly values for example stuff that is tied into events right so let's say increase the number of bounties available for building and hackathons and then you realize for example that there isn't going to be a, a hackathon or there is a low period in hackathons that are available to sponsor in the fourth quarter so maybe you will change this instead of december 2024 to uh, two quarters so this one has a separate value and then over here you say okay so because now i have six months for that one maybe i'm going to change this to 40% uh, increase instead, and that will cop the lull period anticipated, but a heavy or more uh, brisk period in the first quarter of 2025. You might decide to do that. Okay, but in this case, um, I'm going to keep it simple and, you know, just have them as all the key results for a single quarter.